Good afternoon and thanks for joining us at four. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Tracy Hutchins. We begin with a search against time for a missing man at Lake Lanier. State and local officials hope to find that man who disappeared around nine last night. CBS 46 special assignment reporter Sally Sears is at Buford Dam at this hour near the search site. Sally, what's the latest? The latest is a crowded lake and I'm standing right on top of Buford Dam. You can see behind me that the waters are packed. So are the roads around this near perfect weather seems to be calling everybody from North Georgia to come to Lake Lanier today. The deepest part of the lake, of course, is right here at the dam. The missing man went under just up one of those coves on the Gwinnett County Hall County line. The bright surface of Shoal Creek is within the search limits outlined by the Army Corps of Engineers. Federal land along this tributary is leased to operators of a campground and boat ramp, and that is where Georgia rescuers from the Department of Natural Resources are concentrating. They say they are looking for a man who left an inflatable raft to retrieve an oar. He went under around 9.20 Sunday night and did not resurface. Nearby waters on Memorial Day filled with party goers, swimmers like this man using a light green floatable as he swam across a cove near Margaritaville on Lanier Islands. Other recent searches on the lake involve side scan sonar peering into the dark waters of the impounded Chattahoochee River. Millions of us use this largest, deepest lake in Georgia every year for recreation and refreshment. And every year, a few lose their lives to the waves. The Department of Natural Resources' Mark McKinnon tells me state, local, and federal rangers are searching for this man beneath the water where they presume he is. They are hampered, he says, by tall standing timber underneath the waves. Timber left when the lake was created in the 1950s when they impounded it here, left standing and not de deteriorating because of the cold water and the lack of oxygen to decompose the trees. But they are not yet releasing his name. We're going to keep you posted on any updates. On Buford Dam, I'm Sally Sears, CBS 46 News.